So, Konami, Silent Hills. Oh boy, um, I really don't know where to start with this one. I really don't. I really, really fucking don't. I'm sure everyone's heard the news by now. Silent fucking Hills is cancelled. Um, so after Hideo Kojima was essentially fucking fired from Konami, Konami basically decided, okay, so we're gonna remove his fucking logo from PT on our fucking website. We're gonna stop, uh, selling, even though it's free, we're gonna stop selling PT on the PSN. And then, then we're gonna just fucking drop the whole project. The one fucking time... We had potential to have a real fucking triple-A horror game in the fucking next generation that would not be loaded with fucking cheap jump scares and, like, no fucking real mechanics to grip the player. A real fucking horror game, with the exception of Fatal Frame 5, this was all we had, and it's gone! Are you fucking kidding me? Could I Okay, so, so first, first, you show virtually no fucking loyalty to any of your other projects. Metal Gear Solid is a fucking shell of its former self. You release fucking Phantom Pain or fucking Ground Zeroes. I don't fucking know which came first, but it's basically a glorified tech demo. Not even a teaser where it like gives you a little taste of what the game, I think it was fucking Phantom Pain. Or, I, no, I don't even know which fucking one it was. The fucking, it may as well have been its own fucking mini-series, its own fucking mini-game in the Metal Gear Solid franchise, fucking Metal Gear Solid 5. You're willing to do that. But when it comes to Hideo Kojima, the guy who fucking made Metal Gear Solid, the guy who fucking made Silent Hill, we have all this potential all this this attention and all this excitement for the new Silent Hills but then you say oh well even though the game's canceled the series is still alive fuck you you know damn well this series is fucking dead now because you just shot yourself in the foot when you booted Kojima's ass out the fucking door you don't give a fuck about Silent Hills you certainly don't give a fuck about Kojima and based on these actions you do not give a fuck about us because now we're all gonna fucking take our wallets we're gonna take all the fucking money that's in our wallets and we're gonna put it back in our pockets because none of it's going to fucking you you know where our money's gonna go the real fucking horror fans you know where that money's gonna go it's gonna go to fucking Tecmo for Fatal Frame 5 on the Wii U. That is the only thing we have left. That's it. There was so much potential with this game. And all of it is fucking gone. Because Konami couldn't decide not to be a bunch of little bitches who don't who, who really just don't give a fuck about the fans. You don't. You cannot say that Konami gives a fuck about what the fans have to say if they're willing to boot this project. They're willing to just put the brake not even put the brakes on it. They fucking sat it on the train tracks and let the fucking train come. The whole thing's fucking destroyed. It's all fucking gone. And now, to make it even worse, all we have left is PT. That's it. And PT was fucking phenomenal. From beginning to end, fucking fantastic. 
So now we know that is what that game could have been like, and it's never gonna fucking come! I'm really fucking losing hope. I really am. It is shit like this that makes people say that there's gonna be another fucking video game crash. When you piss off the fans this much, this often, and on this grand of a scale, companies need to realize that there's going to be fucking backlash. And there already is. Gamers are fucking pissed. As they should be. You don't take bits and pieces of a project that people are excited for, put it out there, get us all excited to play this new game, when you don't know whether or not that game is fully greenlit. When you don't know whether or not that game is going to see store shelves. If there's even a doubt, just tell us that the game is in the works, don't give us a fucking teaser, because that's what it is, a teaser! You literally jumped us off till we got a boner, and then walked out of the room and shut the door. That's what you did, you left us fucking hanging. The only difference is, we don't have any fucking arms to finish the job ourselves. That's all I have to say. Konami, I don't know what the fuck you are thinking. But the fact that you have already lost Kojima basically means you are going to go the same f***ing route as Capcom is. The only thing, the only thing that is keeping my view of Capcom right now high in the clouds, the only thing that's making me think highly of them, is all the free DLC that they're doing for Monster Hunter 4. You, on the other hand, you can't offer us sh**. Metal Gear Solid 5 better be f***ing good to make up for this sh**. Konami. I'm fucking done. I'm not doing a fucking outro. I'm not. I'm so fucking angry right now. I can't even bring myself to do it. Fucking Konami. What's up guys, thanks so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to check out last week's video which can be found right here. Also, if you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And while you're at it, make sure to check out the rest of Coed Gaming where we upload gaming videos every single week. And as always, game on.